Hey, what's up guys? Today on 1526 Barbecue, we're doing the Devil's Ribs. Check it out. All right, so I've obviously taken these out of the package already and I've rinsed them off. First thing you want to do is remove the membrane in the back. So what I like to do is just take a butter knife and kind of work your way underneath the membrane right on top of one of the bones. Try to get it all the way across without it ripping. And you can kind of pull it up. And once you get it started, just get a little paper towel. Just give it a pull. Okay, once the membranes are off, you can season them. I normally use mustard to act as a binder. And, you know, I don't really taste the mustard in the, in the barbecue at all. And everyone says you don't taste it. But since we're going spicy today, I thought I'd use this spicy brown mustard as my binder. We're going to be trying out Spiceology's Smoky Honey Habanero. So I just took some of this, put it in a bottle so I can shake it on. Okay, once you get the bottoms covered, you can go ahead and give them a flip. We'll follow the same process here. And you want to make sure you get a nice even coating covering all the exposed meat. All right, looks like we got a good coating on them. We're gonna let them sit here and come up to room temp a little bit while we go start the pit. All right, so we're cooking on the Pit Boss 1100 Pro pellet grill. I'm cooking at 250. I normally do a 225, but I'm going 250 today. I'm gonna speed it up. So I'm gonna have to alter my times on that 321 method. All right, our ribs have been on for two and a half hours now. They're looking really good. We're gonna go ahead and wrap them up. So get yourself a nice big piece of aluminum foil. I'm gonna start off by adding three pads of butter. This is gonna end up being the, the top side of the rib. We'll put it down on the mat there. We're going to be braising in Matuk's hot pepper sauce. This is a scotch bonnet based hot sauce. It's really, really good. It's got a ton of heat and even more flavor. I've never braised in a hot sauce before, so let's see what happens. Now, if you want to pick up some of this, we have a link down in the description on Amazon where you can buy some. The, uh, at the time I bought this, you could only buy two bottles at a time, but trust me, it's worth it. This stuff is delicious. Okay, so we're gonna take that hot sauce and just put some right down on here. And we're gonna put our ribs meat side down on that. Put a little more butter on it. And a little more hot sauce. Okay, now we're gonna wrap it up. That's ready to go back on the grill.
Now you can see here, I kind of tore a little bit. No big deal. Just wrap it again. I use this uh, heavy duty aluminum foil. It's a 500 foot roll. I love this stuff. Back on the grill. All right, so we've been wrapped for about an hour and a half. Just gonna check them, see if they're ready to come out. Oh yeah, I see a little bit of pullback on those bones. So I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of the wrap and put them back on the pit just for a couple minutes while I go grab some barbecue sauce. All right, so today we're gonna be using Famous Dave's barbecue sauce, a devil's spit. It's a spicy barbecue sauce I haven't tried before. I did take a sample just before uh, this shot. It's got a strong black pepper taste. It's really good. All right, we're just gonna coat these ribs evenly. Now, I didn't show you the shot, but I did coat the bottom side already. So once we get a generous layer of barbecue sauce on the top here, we're gonna let them sit in the pit for another 20 or 30 minutes just so it can tack up. Whoa, look at that, 10 points for presentation. All right, it's the moment of truth. Let's give this guy a try. It's not as spicy as, as I was expecting, but you can definitely taste the Matsuk hot sauce. You definitely got that pepper heat from the uh, Devil's Spit barbecue sauce. And there at the end, I think I'm picking up on that habanero. Kind of hit me in the back of the throat. They're really good, guys. All right, if you like that video, don't forget to smash the like button. We'll see you next time.